back to lock and reload. I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on the Marlin Model 60 uh, 22 long rifle. This one's a Model uh, 60. This rifle is a tube fed magazine, so it's 14 plus one. Uh, a couple things that I like about it and a couple things that I don't like about it. Uh, the two major things that I honestly do not care for about this rifle it has the rear sight or uh, um, the rear sight carry you can only adjust the elevation it's kind of cheap and chintzy it reminds me of a BB gun sight so I really don't care for it all that much uh, it does have a uh, plastic trigger guard with a plastic trigger uh, the couple things that I do really really like about it is the fact that it is empty by the way it's got three positions as far as the bolt like any semi-automatic but this one um, either the bolts closed or it's you know it locks into the open position when you're out of ammunition or you just want to hold your bolt open well this one also carries a bolt lock um, basically you pull it back push the charge handle in and it locks into place so if you have a jam or whatever you can lock the bolt into place therefore you can clear whatever obstructions in there and then you just pull it out and it goes back to uh, just the recessed bolt um, empty indication there's nothing really special about this rifle other than the fact that this one does come with a um, I believe this is a maple stock I could be wrong I'll leave a comment if I if I am wrong. This one's got a safety ethics uh, sportsman's coin embedded in the stock, so I don't know. I couldn't tell you if this is a limited edition or they made a lot of these. Not not entirely sure. Uh, this is a really really inexpensive rifle, and yes, it's right around ninety nine to one hundred and ten dollars, depending on where you buy it from. Whether uh, again, depending on who you buy it from, whether it be new or used. Uh, they are very, very accurate for the money that you pay for them. This one, uh, at 30 and 50 yards, it does shoot a little to the right, so I have to compensate a little bit, but not too bad. But like I stated, you can only adjust elevation, you can't adjust windage and whatnot. Um, I'm not a big fan of semi-automatics in general, because I'm a bolt-action kind of guy. But for what it is, it's really nice. You know, I paid five bucks for this. I, I bought it in a raft. I, uh, I paid five bucks uh, for a raft for a couple of raffle tickets, and I won it. Uh, the only thing I've won in my entire life. This one does have a plastic uh, butt plate on it. Uh, it does have aluminum receiver, which it's a 22. You're not really dealing with a whole high, lot of high pressures and whatnot. It is a uh, blued steel barrel. And it does have micro uh, rifling in it, so it's got a bunch of rifling in it because it's a signature thing of Marlin, is their micro rifling. Very, very easy to disassemble as well. Uh, basically, on the bottom, you have your action screw, like most rifles, and then you have your two screws in the trigger group itself, and it comes off in one piece. Um, I probably should have shot a video because I did have to clean it today because I've been shooting it a lot this week. Um, I probably shot in it more this week than I probably shot in it in 10 years. So I'm really getting very, very acclimated with it. I've just been sh shooting so many high calibers lately. It's just, I just haven't really shot in my 22. So I figure this weekend is a good 22 weekend. Um, I am out at my dad's for the, uh, for the, well, at least until Wednesday. I've been out here since Thursday watching his dog and whatnot. So I figure, hey, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Why not do some shooting? And, uh, Oh, other than that, this is an awesome rifle. This thing has killed a lot of squirrel. Um, it's killed its fair share of raccoon. Uh, not that I, I'm really proud of this, but it has killed a rabid cat before. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's a tack driver in its own right with open sights. These do come with a scope rail on them. Mine used to have a scope on it, but the scopes are great. I love scopes. My 308's got a scope, or my Howe M1500's got a scope on it. But there's nothing like honing your skills with open sights. If you've got the opportunity to shoot a firearm or a weapon with open sights, do it because that will hone your 
skills even more because honestly uh, scopes are pretty much like grocery shopping. Uh, basically you look in an optic as long as it's dialed in, it's kind of like grocery shopping once it's dialed in and it doesn't lose its fun but you always have to stretch yourself uh, farther and farther because of the optic. Um, I love scopes but to really hone your skills uh, we'll go with open sights. Um, at, uh, at any rate this is the Marlin Model 60. Highly recommended. I do not recommend Federal uh, 22 ammunition. Junk. That's all I gotta say is junk. Uh, I uh, bought 100 rounds and I, I couldn't hold a, gr a, a very decent group, even at 35 yards. It, it was terrible. I thought it was just because my gun was dirty. No, it wasn't that. And I just don't recommend it. Remington makes probably some of the best 22 ammunition out there. I gotta try a lot more, but this gun, it could be just my gun too, but my Marlin really does not like uh, Federal 22 ammunition. But at any rate, this is Lock and Reload, lock and reload with Ryan. Later.